there we are. So we've got that far, we've got the bottom elastic on, top elastic on, we've got the straps done and we've got everything on the cup done and we've just got the back and the straps to do. We've got to have a strap that goes from there around to there. So we need the elastic. This is the part where you now add your Underwires. If you're going to have underwires, if you're not, then you don't need to go any further. My other bra I added in underwires. I'm going to try this one without underwires because I don't normally wear bras with underwires. So what you do is you got the opening there. You feed your bra underwire into here. You just have to push it in gently, and then once you have it, if it's the right size, you should have a, a space here. And basically you zigzag across there to close it and then once you've got the zigzag you will cut that piece off there and that will be your uh, underwire fitted now there is an underwire guide I'll put it up here I think it's um, uh, Beverly has a, a guide for purchasing underwires my previous one I took from an old bra if you have old bras with underwires then you could use those and they would more than likely be the right size but if you get one that's far too big you're going to find it incredibly uncomfortable so there is a, a, a guide and I shall either put it up here in the up in the corner there or I'll list it on my description where you can find that guide two pieces of findings that you need now is this one a figure of eight and the circle and the first thing you do is you, you feed the figure of eight onto the onto this elastic the shoulder strap elastic. This elastic has a shiny side and it has a dull side. That's the soft side that's going to go against your body and so you basically thread the, the little finding on like that. And then you, I've got a short end there, you turn it over and you, um, sorry I'm doing this one handedly, but then you zigzag across there to hold the strap in place. Right, so I'm uh, going to do a zigzag stitch. I've set it at 1.5 for the zigzag left to right and one for coming in the coming forward. Uh, let's see how that works. I'm not starting, I'm not reversing. I'm going to hold this thread at the back and I'm going to go straight forward with it. And as a form of reinforcement, I'm going to turn it round and go back the same way. Right, so. So you can see from here, I've zigzagged both front, forward and back and I'll cut those threads off, I'll trim this elastic off and I've got about two and a half centimeters there. It looks like that. And I'll do the same with the other one. Right, the next step is to, um, on, in the instructions, is to add the elastic up here. But I think you should, we should do it before you do that. You need to check on this bar, on the bar strap. Because if you look at that, that's going to be too wide. I'm not, you're going to end up having to pucker that in, which is not, not right. So basically, put your... Put your uh, bra strap fastening thing close to it and see where you need to trim and I would probably trim along there and up there so that, it, that this strap is going to fit in properly and do the same on the other side. What I've done is I've cut that much off 
you can see I've cut that off there so now this is going to fit nicely on here the elastic's going to go on there as well uh, the elastic from like this has got to go on here and then by the time you've added the elastic it's going to fit nicely into that little um, pocket the little pocket that's on there so we'll do the same to the other side and then we shall fit the fit the straps the elastic straps along there So we now have the elastic with the little uh, slider and the ring. So what we have to do now is we then take this, this elastic and we thread it through there. The furry side on the inside or wrong sides together or unpretty sides together. Thread it through there and then thread it back up through the other part of the loop. So, and you should have, if you slide the ring to the end, you should have the ring at one end, the slider there, and then your elastic. Now the best thing to do is to put the slider roughly where you would have it on your bra normally, and that usually for me is further down the back, halfway down the back. So I've got some room for play to tighten it up. So pull your elastic through when you can do it. Let's turn this this way. You might see it better if I do it like that. It's tight. It's very tight. So like that. Now then. So I'm going to have it like that. A bit. Um, bit better that way right so what we have now is we have our bra and <clears throat> what's going to happen here is this bit is going to thread through that ring and you'll find that it's quite wide I think that that could do with being narrow however because when you're big busted you need a wider strap I think that in a sense it's quite wide but because you're wider heavier busts need wider straps for the shoulders then basically you do have a little bit of gathering through there I'll show you the one on this one if you see what's happened on here I've got a little bit of a folding over there just to meet onto that ring so but it, it gives you a bit more body to hold on to your shoulders now then so that's going to go there that's going to be the one that goes there but you don't bother with that at the moment what you're going to do is this side and what you're doing here is you're going to take the opposite end which is that bit and you're going to put it on there I'll trim that off first there. And then we're going to put it on there with just a little bit of overlap like that. It's going to be a half and half overlap. And we're going to do the lightning stitch. Or Marks and Spencer's bras have that little zigzag stitch, the dot, 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 dot. Um, this is what it's going to look like. And basically, we're going to go up there, along and down. This one's a bit better. I think that first one, that was my first attempt. This is my second attempt. We're going to go up there, along, and then back again. And if you see what it's like, your actual your power net is at very close to the seam there. I suggest for your measurements for your strap that you take an old bra, one that you're using, and measure roughly your length from from the front from where the steam is above your bust to the very end there and that's 30 centimeters for me um, again I'll show you you're measuring from the top of that part where the seam is right way around to that part and I measure that for me is 30 centimeters and the reason why I suggest that you do that is because 27, 28, 29, 30. So I need my strap. The whole thing has to measure around about 35 and no more. 
in centimetres. Now if you look at this, if I fix this onto here with the strap there and I measure from one end to the other, if I measure from there right the way along to there, this measures This measures 54 centimetres, which means that once you've made it all up, you suddenly find that you have to take it all to bits again. I know that they recommend that you try a sample bra first, but I've gone, my very first one was the blue one, and I wanted to wear it. I didn't want to have some makeshift toile, or I wanted something that was reasonably good for wearing. So I'm going to try and cut this down. I'll leave that bit the, the same, but I'm going to trim down the elastic to, to around about 35 centimetres. And 35 centimetres is around about, I have to pull that up a bit more, if I can get it up. Very, very tight, which is good because then that means your strap won't slide up and down. But I'm going to do that. And 35 will take me from there. 33, 34, it's going to take me to just past this, just past here. That's 35 centimetres there. So I'm still going to need to move that up a bit. I'll trim it about there. And I think I'll probably find I still have to shorten it. So I'm going to cut it to there. I'm going to push that up some a bit further. That's better. That one there. Okay, so if I lay that down again, measure it again, 35, I'm still going to have, sorry, you can't see. If I lay that down again and I measure it from the top to 35, 35 takes me there. So I still have a bit too much spare but it's, I've taken that much off, which would be a total waste. I have to find some use for that. That can go in the scrap box, it will be used for something. So what you do to one side, you do to the other. So you have to do the same thing on this side. You have to trim the same amount of elastic. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take that piece of elastic there, match it with that and trim it to the same length, which is about there. Right, then I'm going to thread this through on this one. Same as before. Pull it up. Right, so we have two straps, which are going to be Okay, so you've basically got two straps like that on your bra. Now, we'll, we'll forget about this bit at first, we'll not do this bit at first. What we will concentrate on is the back bit. So I'm going to take these off the, off the loops and I'm going to sew them on here. So we need that lightning stitch, need it fitted onto there with the right side pointing upwards and we're going to stitch along there. So let me just show you what I mean. So we've got the bra like this, the straps at the top and we've got the side bits. So we've got this threaded like this. I'm going to move that further along but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sewing that along that curve there. And the same with the other side, that along that curve there. Let's try this like this.
so you can see what lightning stitch is like and when you stretch it can you see what happens to it it opens up so that's going to be the lightning stitch right so we are going to do a lightning strip stitch so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start at this top end which is on the underarm and I'm going to go down to the um, down here to the where you fast where your strap fastens and I'll start by putting the needle in too high too far too far in start by putting the needle there holding the threads and starting there I'm going to take that pin out Oops. and I'm going to take that pin out right okay Turn it round and come back up and then I'm going to go back towards where I started from and it's basically only going to be, um, this is the line of stitching that I've just done and I'm going to just keep that clear part of the foot close to that. We'll finish off the square by turning it. I'll finish off, finish it off by turning it. So we join where it started from. Up with the needle and out. Right. So, so you can see from there. That's where I started. I worked all the way down. I went across and back up. So here you can see that we've gone along and up and back and then joined up again and this way we've caught in all the elastic. I'll trim this along here so it's quite close to the stitching. So both uh, side pieces of elastic from the, the shoulder straps have been fitted and the last bit stage is where we fit the, um, the hook and eye. Now the hook and eye, if we lay it out face upwards, that is where your right hand will be fastening and that's where your left hand will be fastening when it's on your back. So your right hand has to have the hook and the left has to have the eye. So if we take that, I'll just drop this, set this up so that I can show you. It has a hook fastening and it has an eye fastening. So the hook fastening is the one that's going to go on that side and the eye fastening is the one that's going to go onto that side. And it has to be with a hook with, a, with the eyes pointing upwards and the hooks pointing down. So that has to fit into there like so and you have to basically stretch it all out into that space so that you don't have any wrinkles like that and what you do is you then stitch down there and the stitch that we use is a straight stitch straight stitch up and down that's not very nicely done um, but not bad for a first attempt I suppose that one is slightly better. So we're going to go straight straight stitch up and down there and do the same on the other side. If you try, I've put a pin in to hold it in place, but if you try to do it this way, your hooks are there and they're going to catch it. So basically what you need to do is do it this way 
so I'll put the pin on the other side just so for me I prefer to have a pin in but also you might need to change your foot and put a zipper foot on so my zipper foot is in and I'm going to start by putting the needle in holding the thread at the back and reverse stitching and then forward again Now I've given it a stitch of 1.8 because I think we need it to be fairly small. I'm holding that to stop this fabric from coming out of the little pocket. And then we stitch along trying to stop it from... Ah, ah, you see what's happened there? It's gone off. So let me just take that out. This is the problem with this one because it's so close to the edge. Um, and we're going to have to pick it up again. So basically what I shall do is I shall get an idea of what my pliers can do. Get that and pull that. Pull the other side like so. And I'm going to try and pick it up again later, further back. Let's get that done there. Right, okay. Let's start again this thread out here And we'll start again. So push that into there, like so. I'm going to put the pin on in just to keep it in place because I don't want it to drop out. And then we're going to start again there. Right, in we go. Get the threads from behind. One of those. And away we go. I don't want it to go off again so I'm going to keep on lifting that foot to make sure it doesn't move. Take that out and too bad a little bit of I left that those stitches in at the very back not too bad oh but it's not so good on that side you see what's happened there it's gone off the edge so we might need to redo that top bit if you're a perfectionist you want it you'll want to do a top bit again now what I'm going to do this way is I'm going to try and pick it up from about there and see how I go from there So it's basically, I've had to pick up that little bit at the bottom there because it was going off. That's the that's the right side, that's the side that's going to be on the outside and that's the side that's on the inside. Uh, not perfect but better than it was. Then we do the other side. And the other side 
has a fleecy side there and that's the side that's going to go to the inside of your of your body so that it's up against your skin there and this is the side that's going to be facing outwards so this side has to go onto there through the little pocket there and it's sewn in the same man in the same way so I'll put it on now I'm not altogether sure why but it has this gap there and the same on the other side little gap there and the one thing that I found when I finished my other um, my other bra was that that one of the one of the edges was scratching on my back so I think that once you've done it a little stitch over there and on the other end might make a big difference You can see how it's gone off a little bit there it's um, really hard to try and pick this up from here uh, I'm going to do a double row because it's not I'm not happy with that so I want to do it again a bit further in see there I've got gone wrong there but that's a bit better there so that apart from the one bit there is almost so now we have if I can show you you've got your bra fastener at the back I'll put it on the middle one and then all that's left to do here now is um, if I can go out a bit. All that's left to do now is to fasten the straps to the to the um, the rings, and that is done by threading that through, and sewing up sewing across rather and sewing across there but what I'm going to do is I suggest that what you do is that you pin it first like that and then try the bra on um, and this is the point where she says this, this kind of irritates me because once you've made the bra then she says you've got to try adjusting it where necessary it's not one of those garments that you can take in as you're going so unfortunately you have to adjust it once everything's done um, so I'm just going to do this I'm just putting the pin like that in there right I'll show you what I mean I have now got the bra the straps there I really should press those straps because they're slightly curling I'll give those a press later the straps We've got the cups there, turn it over and we have the fastener, hook and eye fastener. Uh, if you're having, um, you'd have underwires, if you're using underwires and there I'm what I've done there is I'm going to pin it, I'm going to try it on and see if it needs to have any, uh, to be shorter again and basically sew across there. I'll show you what I've done on this one. This one is just a straight stitch across there to secure it and trim it, trim it on the other side. So that, and there you go, that is the pink bra done. 
So I now have a pink bra and a blue bra. As you can see, I now have two bras, more or less the same, a pink bra and a blue bra. Um, and I'm very pleased with the outcome. I'm very pleased uh, the way it's turned out. So I'm sure I shall be making more. I quite fancy trying a one that fastens down the front. I, I don't know if you older ladies ha have the same experience as me, but I struggle to fasten my bra down the front. I have actually bought some bras that do that. Um, and they're, they're, they're rather nice, comfortable ones. So I may actually take a pattern from it and, uh, and do something similar, but have the fastener down here. So there you go. I'm very pleased with that and I hope you enjoyed my sew along.